Hi, and welcome back to another session from the Air Users blog. And I'm going to go back to basics over the next few sessions and look at all the different Creative Collection plugins. Some of you have written to me and said, listen, Russ, I love what you do, but I really need to get back to some basics. I've really just got into recording with Pro Tools, and I really just want to know how to like insert, expand, and, and, and make some sounds with it. So, okay, what we're going to do, here's, a, here's an empty session of uh, Pro Tools. So this is how you set up Expand, so you can play in uh, what we'd call multi timbre mode. Uh, you can go to either Track New here, or you can press Command, Shift and N, and that brings up the new track dialog. And what you want to insert is one stereo MIDI instrument track. Now that will come in, and it will look like that, and it will say INST1. Uh, now I'm going to call that Expand 2, for the purpose of this uh, session. And then what you want to do is go to your insert section. Now we're in the edit window. If you're in the mix window, it would look like this. And go insert, multi-channel plugin, instrument, and I'm coming down to expand to. And so when you insert it, it looks like that, and you'll get this sound. Now. Uh, Expand can have four instances of a sound in, in one plugin. Uh, so one instance of, uh, of Expand 2 will give you four parts, which means that you have part A, part B, C, and D. Now at the moment they're all set onto MIDI channel 1, so what I could do if I wanted to, I could click here and go to Bright Pads and go Basic Saw Pad. And so I've, got I've now got this sound and that sound. But a lot of you don't want to work like that. What you want to do is you want to have bass on one channel, you want to have keys on the next, etc, etc. So what you can do is you can have different MIDI channels. And when you've got different MIDI channels, that means that different instruments will play depending on which MIDI channel you're on from this say, this one instance of expand. So there we have that that on channel on channel one. And at the moment this isn't playing because it's on channel two. And if you're in instrument mode and you want to know uh, where your instrument is being played out to, if you come up to here, you'll see this, and you just say expand, and it will say expand to one. It says expand to one because this is the first instance of expand. Let me show you something. If I go track and duplicate this track, then you'll have we'll have two instances of expand. So we've got expand expand to one. And then we've got expand two two. So there we have, and that's why it says one one. So it's expand to uh, instance one, four channels, instance two, four channels. So we have eight channels of expand now if we wanted them. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove that duplicate again because I don't want it for this session. And what we're going to do instead is we're going to go track, we're going to go new again, or short uh, or command shift N. We're going to go, I want four channels of MIDI. Go down to there and you'll have these four purple tracks set up. Then what you want to do as well is you then want to make sure that they're all assigned out to the right sounds in in, uh, in Expand. So here we have, rather than having it here, we've now got the output. So on, Pro, on a Pro Tool session, this is your input setting, and this is your output setting. And what we want to do is set it out to uh, Expand Channel 1, 2, 3, and 4, respectively, across each channel. So there are two ways of doing that. I could say, OK, Expand 2, 1 to there, and expand to one, two to there. Or if I press Alt Command and go to the first one and choose channel one, then automatically all the channels after it will be assigned two, three, and four. So you can see that channels one, two, three, and four by pressing Alt Command and then choosing the first channel. That's a pretty cool little trick that. So let's name them. Otherwise I'm gonna get myself confused. And the way I name things is I come down to any channel at the name and I double click and I go drums. And I go bass, and I go keys, and I go lead. For that, for that's let's assume it's this. And then I want to go here and I go. This is MIDI channel one. This is middle channel, MIDI channel two, MIDI channel three, MIDI channel four. We set them up there. So we want here. We want some drums. So I'm going to go to a loop. I'm going to choose to know that loop. Let's try that. See what that gives us. And I press record here just to get it through. And here I want to get myself a nice bass, so I say OK, I'd like the full finger bass. I press record there. And here I'm going to choose a piano. So I'm going to say, OK, electric pianos, I'm going to try the, I think 
bit of the Mark II medium layer here. Let's try that. And for my lead, I'm going to go and I'm going to say, OK, I'm going to get myself a soft lead and this lovely, that one there. Try that. Now here's the cool thing as well, if I move So what we can do then is we can record any. So we go to channel one and record. Now if I wanted to record, I'd go uh, I'd go to my edit window, uh, move expand two out for a second, out the way, choose I don't know five bars of something uh, in a loop. I'm just going to delete that one out there. I don't need that at the moment. Let's say I want to record my drums first. Uh, what I can do as well if I wanted to create a click track. And uh, let's just bring that down to there. Make sure it's going out to the output I need it to go out to, which is my main left and right. Press play and record. Now you need to make sure when you do loop recording in MIDI that it's in only in, in record and not loop record, because it won't work in loop record for MIDI. It will in audio, but not MIDI. And then you want to be in play. You want to make sure you've got your MIDI merge switched on. If you don't have your MIDI merge switched on, when it goes back around, it will then delete what you just put in in the first place. So press record. Got a count on of two. Here's the drums. So at the moment I've put just one note in, and what I want to do if I double click now, I'm going to pull that out and play that for the whole of oops, got two in there. So what I can do is I just double click on that one and get rid of it. What I can do as well is push the volume up. Take the bass, put it in record. That's all out of time, just press quantize. Go back to expand, turn my drums up a bit. Get to my piano with the key of E. Record again. Quantize it again. Just drop it and record again. Now, of course, I'll actually spend some time getting this performance right for you. Record. Two, three, four. In. Sorry, just turn my mic back around again. Sorry, I just turned that around while I was recording. I can go back in then to expand. Turn them down that lead part. And so I want to put an echo on that. FX one there. Just 
turn off my click track as well now. So that's how you record with Expand. I'm not really going to go into how you use Expand now. So very quickly, as you can see, you could quickly get an idea down. I hope that's been a help. And I look forward to having you back again on the blog soon. Thanks for watching.